Okay, so now we're gonna do the around the world, but we're gonna be doing the sitting uh, from the floor variation. So we're gonna go ahead and help our flyer down. All right, so for this particular movement, sometimes if the flyer has a good grip on the floor with her feet, um, then she doesn't need your help here. But if the floor is slick or if she's wearing some kind of footwear that makes it slick, then you're gonna have to assist by placing your leg or your foot against her feet so she can use that to then jump up into the air. So the goal with this particular movement is as much height as possible because the height is gonna allow us to get the rotation in there. So uh, we're gonna demonstrate this real quick and then we're gonna break down the handholds and everything. So we're gonna go right to right, left to left, five, six, seven. Ooh, you got high that time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about the hands real quick, even though I kind of you started doing it. We're gonna talk about the hands later. All right. right. So we're gonna do a trapeze grip. So it's gonna be right to right. We're gonna aim for not each other's elbows, but just below that, because naturally uh, our hands are gonna kind of hit that position, so they'll slide. So you wanna start up nice and high, right? So right to right. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go underneath. We're gonna grab the front of the forearms, left to left again, nice high grip on the arms. Timing for this is five, six, seven. See how we're both going away from each other right now, creating a lot of resistance. And then on eight, we'll go boom. And she's gonna shoot up through her feet as much as she can. And at the same time, I'm coming up through the legs and trying to lift those arms up high. Not doing this, because you don't need it. Try and get height. She's gonna grip your body and then she's gonna go around. When we hit this final position, I wanna make sure I straighten this leg here. This is our preferred exit. Um, I'm going to send my hands forward and shoulders are back opposite of her. And I'm gonna keep this leg compressed so we get this nice cool looking line. And then obviously you wanna bring your hands up and help your flyer back up. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that again with the timing and everything. So we have five, six, seven. Nice. Who at the end. So for the flyers, um, if you watched the video beforehand and you did it from standing, um, that's going to help you kind of get used to where you need to end up. Um, from the floor, it just takes more power. Um, it's a little bit scarier because there's a lot more height to get. So if you need to try that standing a couple of times just to get used to it, just go back to that spot and like try that several times. Um, I'm sure we'll put like a link to go to just that specific video. Um, so we're gonna start on the floor. We're gonna press our feet, our toes, up against his left leg. You can always reverse this. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have that grip. So we've got right to right, left to left. So he's gonna count it out. We have five, six, seven. So I'm taking it back. So I'm not collapsing my shoulders. I'm trying to keep my shoulders back, but you'll kind of see me collapse just a little bit just to get that distance away from him. Then from there, instead of jumping straight towards him, which will be bad, you're gonna try and jump straight up. Okay, so don't think about the rotation. Don't think about where you're gonna end up. We're literally just trying to create height here. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna go through the whole thing. Five, six, seven. With this one, we're just trying to get as much height as possible. Just like the uh, one that we demonstrated before, you're trying to jump from the floor. Then from there, you're gonna take your legs out wide. So you don't have to be flexible for this at all. I keep saying it, but it's true. Literally, you're just taking your legs out to the side as wide as you can. Sometimes if you take it out into like a V shape, that's gonna help you a little bit instead of trying to take it out to the sides. That's my little secret for you guys, so you're welcome. A uh, little V shape, it's going to create a nice long line and it's going to give you that little extra height to get up and then come around. So with this one, we're going to try again. We're going to get that right leg hooked onto his chest. It might be a little bit higher now because I'm trying to get as high as possible. We're going to try and stop it right there so you can see what's happening as I come down. We're going to go nice and slow into that dip and I'll try and talk you through it without running out of breath. Six. We're here, I've caught him with my right leg. Brandon's gonna hold me. I'm gonna squeeze my leg, keep my chest up high, and then take it back. Squeeze your legs again, 
lift your body up with your arms, and then he will place you off to the side or in front, wherever you end up. Yeah. Alright guys, if you liked this video and you found it helpful, please like, comment, subscribe! <laughs>